Hello, class. Uh, welcome to the presentation or the video about uh, sentences. We have a lot to get to, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so first, I just want to start by explaining two very important rules when you make a sentence. So first, Every sentence must begin with a capital letter or a big letter like this, the big I here, okay? So you always have to have a big letter. And every sentence must, uh, must be finished with a full stop or period like this, or a question mark like this, or an exclamation point like this. So if you can remember rule one right here and rule two here, this will uh, help you catch most of your common editing mistakes. So remember in our writing assignments, we have the one, we have the one grade category called editing. And if you can remember these two rules, you will not lose many points, okay? So capital letters and and, and marks, okay? Uh, now, when we make a sentence, a sentence must have a complete idea. A complete idea has two things. It has a subject and a predicate. And so let's quickly take a look at some examples to understand what a subject and predicate is. So in this sentence, regular exercise has become more popular. So the subject is the uh, who or what of the sentence, and the predicate is the, uh, the action of the sentence. So just remember, most predicates start with verbs, okay? If you can find that, you can find the subject pretty easily. So if we look at this example, the verb has is right there. So that means the predicate starts right there, has become more popular. And also look at here, there's the capital letter R and the N mark period right there, okay? Um, now, we need to be careful because sometimes we write sentences that look like sentences, right? So this sentence has a capital letter, has an N mark, and it looks like it has a subject and a verb, but it is missing a predicate. So if we look at this, the first one, is not a sentence because it is missing the predicate. The second one is a sentence because it has the predicate contribute to good health. So our verb in this sentence is contribute, okay? And so now that's a complete sentence, okay? So take a moment, look at, these three sentences, uh, I'll give you one minute and try to find the subject for each sentence and try to find the predicate for each sentence. You have one minute.
Okay, so you can see in sentence A, there is the verb scored. Sentence B, it's call. And sentence C, it's stop. So we can see here very clearly the striker with the headband uh, scored three goals. And people call London the big smoke. And then the sentence C, you stop. So uh, you, people, and the striker with the headband, those are the subjects for these sentences. Okay, so um, when we have a sentence, whoops, when we have a sentence with just one subject and one predicate, we have a simple sentence. Okay, these are our most common types of sentences. So if I like to say that um, I like to say that simple sentences are the bricks for building a for building bigger sentences. So we can put a bunch of we can put some bricks together to make bigger sentences, okay? So that's a very important tip, and I'll talk more about that in a future lesson, okay? Uh, so some things to remember about simple sentences is that simple sentences don't have commas, they don't have semicolons, but we don't use these very commonly, and uh, they don't have full colons, okay? The only punctuation is the uh, full stop, exclamation point, or question mark, so the end marks, right? So this should actually be full stop, exclamation mark, or question mark. Those are our, those are our sentence, those are the way we end simple sentences, okay? Um, but a simple sentence is also, we can say it's like an independent clause. Um, independent means it can be a sentence. It doesn't need more, okay? So this right here, this means it doesn't, need more words or information, okay? So it's independent, it's complete, All right? So a clause can be something with a subject and a predicate, which is independent, and another one can be a subject that is dependent. Uh, and I'll explain this a little more clearly in a future lesson. Uh, but for now, all you need to know is that a simple sentence can be like an independent clause. And we will look at independent and dependent clauses next class, okay? Uh, so for now, uh, what I'm gonna ask you to do is to write three sentences, okay, about yourself. So this means, you will be the subject, oops, subject in the sentences, okay? And what you're gonna do is uh, the sentences can be about lunch. So that means, or lunch and hobbies. So that means you could do one sentence about lunch, One sentence about lunch and two two sentences about hobbies. Or you could do this, or you could do one sentence about hobbies and two sentences about lunch, or you can do three sentences 
about hobbies Oops. for three sentences about lunch. Okay, so I'm gonna give you uh, about three minutes uh, to finish. Actually, I'll give you two minutes, two minutes. If you need more time, so I will give you two minutes to make these sentences. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Okay. So ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, so time's up. And I have, oops, I have my example sentences here. Okay, so here are my example sentences. And uh, I will show you where the predicates begin. So right here in sentence one, my favorite food to eat, uh, lunch, eat for lunch is pasta. So is pasta is the predicate. And here, the predicate is Jamie loves going to lunch with his friends, loves going to lunch with his friends. And here, the predicate is I enjoy cooking as a hobby. Okay. So those are my three simple sentences. And I want you to keep your simple sentences because you might use them, uh, you can use them later. Okay. All right, so there are four different styles of sentences in English. We have the simple sentence, and now we're gonna go on to the compound sentence, okay? Compound sentences are basically just two simple sentences put together. Or another way to think about this is they are two independent clauses put together. This is actually more correct, um, but I like to tell students this too because it's because they're very similar. Okay. And to put them together, we use fanboys. So fanboys are for and nor but or yet and so. So I have some example sentences here to show you the meaning of these fanboys. Okay. So I was very lonely for I had no friends. So for shows a reason. And we can see here, right? There's 
in this sentence, there's two subjects, I and I, okay? So we actually have two predicates, was very lonely, had no friends. So this is what we mean, this is what I mean by putting together two simple sentences or two independent clauses, okay? Uh, next sentence, it was raining very hard and it was very windy. So and shows an addition or extra information, okay? Um, I don't like garlic, nor do I like onions. So nor shows another negative. And nor is actually tricky because of uh, one thing, which is this. Um, in this sentence here, do, well, let me, hold on, let me use this. Do is the verb and it comes before, actually, sorry, like is the verb, my mistake. Like is the verb, but with nor, because of nor, we have to add this do here, okay? Uh, nor do I like onions. Uh, nor is not very common. In fact, I would tell students, don't use nor. It's just very complicated and it doesn't really, uh, you really don't need it. So in the future, I would say just ignore nor, okay? Uh, next one. She is a beautiful girl, but she is not very friendly. So we can see the predicate starts here and then the next predicate starts here. So, but shows a difference, okay? This is very similar to nor, but this is better. But is better than nor, okay? Um, I, will take, uh, I will take my kids to a movie or I will stay at home. So, or shows a choice. Okay, so take my kids to the movie, that's one choice. Stay at home, that's the other choice. Uh, next one, I want to lose weight, yet I won't stop eating chocolate daily. So yet shows an exception, and I will explain this in just a moment. Uh, mushrooms grow in wet, cool places, so they usually excuse me, so they usually grow in forests. So, so shows a result. Uh, so is kind of similar to for, but not exactly the same. So uh, for is a reason, oops, so is a result. So this wet places, wet cool places, this happens first, and then second, mushrooms grow in the forest. So just think of it like first and second. Um, now, I said that yet shows an exception. So an exception is something that will not change, right? I want to lose weight, yet I won't stop eating chocolate daily or every day, right? So that's an exception, okay? It's something that does not change. Now, there is another way to put together simple sentences or put together uh, independent clauses, and that's with a semicolon. And I would tell my students, I always tell my students, don't use semicolons. Semicolons act exactly the same as fanboys, but they make the sentence less clear. So in this sentence, there's actually one fanboy that we would, or one fanboys that we would use here. And that is four, okay? So a lot of students probably miss, or probably wouldn't have guessed that we use four here, but that's what the semicolon means. So that's why I would say don't use semicolons, okay? Because they're very confusing. So don't use semicolons, bad, bad semicolon, okay? Uh, so don't use those, they're not very helpful. So 
we use uh, fanboys and we can use semicolons, but let's let's not use these because they're just problems. Okay, so we can use those uh, to put together our simple sentences and then make what are called compound sentences, making these compound sentences. Okay, uh, so I want you to use the sentences that you made. Oops. I want you to use the sentences that you made earlier, okay? And what I'm gonna ask you to do is then uh, add, you're gonna erase the end marks and you can add a simple sentence. You can add it to the front or sorry, to the back. You can add a simple sentence to the, uh, the back of a sentence or to the front of a sentence like this. But just remember to put in commas, that's these, and fanboys. Okay, so I'll give you two minutes for this. If you need more time, you can pause the video. All right, I think that's enough time. So, oops. So uh, I'm gonna show you my new sentences. So I'm gonna add a comma here. My favorite food to eat for lunch is pasta, yet it's bad for my diet. Okay. Uh, and here I'm gonna add another uh, simple sentence or independent clause. Um, he, well, say Jamie hates spending, oops, spending money on food, but Jamie loves going to lunch with his friends. And I'm gonna add one more here. I'm gonna start with the comma. I enjoy cooking as a hobby. So uh, let's see. Uh, no, no, no. So I want to be a professional chef. Okay, 
oops, professional, professional chef. Okay. So you can see I have my fan, I have my comma, my fanboys, right? Comma and fanboys, comma and fanboys. And both sentences have a subject. My favorite food to eat for lunch. And Jamie and I and it and Jamie. Oh, this says not Jamie's love. Sorry, Jamie loves. And let's see. Uh, I enjoy cooking as obviously. So I good. And there we go. So I, I are the subjects, Jamie, Jamie are the subjects, my favorite food to eat for lunch, and it, those are all the subjects. So hopefully your compound sentences look something like that. Uh, so compound sentences, remember, they have, they are just two sentences that have similar topics or subjects. Um, and to make them, or sorry, we use them to make our writing more interesting to read. So in our writings, we want to use simple sentences and compound sentences. We want to use both, OK? It makes our writing more interesting. Uh, also, my tip is to only use two simple sentences or independent clauses in your compound sentences. Uh, you can use more, but it becomes very complicated and messy. So only, my tip is to only, only, only do this, okay? Only, only do this. Don't do more because sometimes you might make problems, okay? And that is it. We'll talk about complex sentences soon. And I have these uh, different kinds of sentence types that you can look at, but uh, we don't need to study this right now. So uh, take care and I hope you I hope this helped you.